Okay, so in lecture 17, we're going to start looking at how we derive the distribution for new random variables that are some sort of function of an old random variable. To do this, we're going to consider three methods in this course. The first one is called the method of cumulative distribution functions. In that one, we will find the CDF of our new distribution, then differentiate it and get our PDF. The next one, the method of transforms, is very similar to the method of CDF, but what we're doing this is we find an inverse function and then we substitute that into the PDF. And then finally, the method of moment generating functions, we're gonna calculate the moment generating function for our new random variable and look at the fact that that's unique. So let's start with the CDF method. So the process is going to be, first of all, we're going to draw a figure, have a look at the figure, work out the integration we need to do of our original random variable to get the CDF we need for the new random variable. And then we are going to differentiate that to get our PDF. So the best way to illustrate this is with an example. So we've got y is a random variable, has this PDF, it's defined between zero and one to be two y and everywhere else it's zero. And in fact, just to remind you, the area that it's not zero, that two y, that region between zero and one, we're gonna call the support. We've got a new random variable u that is three y minus one, what is the PDF? Well, let's start with a picture. So basically, we know that we have, this is u equals 3y minus 1. This is our y. This is our u. When we have y equals 0, we have minus 1. And when we get up to 1, u will equal 2. And if I have an arbitrary point here, which we'll call small u, and I want to work out the probability of being that or less, that or less would be this region here. Which, if you think about it, is equivalent to this region here, y being less than that. So if u is less than or equal to this small u, that would be the equivalent to y being less than or equal to this point here, which I just call a at the moment, which we're gonna work out. Okay, so let's now look at the support. Well, I just told you that y lies between zero and one, which means that three y minus one will lie between minus one and two, hence u, its support is between minus one and two. Cool. So next thing we need to do, we need to look at our CDF. So the CDF, so this is f of u, the small arbitrary value of u, which is the probability that u is less than or equal to u. Well, that's gonna be the probability that three y minus one is less than or equal to u, which is going to be the probability that y is less than u plus one over three. So remember back in this diagram here, and I said, what is A? Well, now we know that A actually equals U plus one over three. We want to work out the probability Y is less than or equal to that. Well, that's easy enough. We can integrate from minus infinity to U plus one over three, F of Y dy which in our case is just going to be the integral from zero to u plus one over three, two y dy, which is y squared from zero to u plus one over three, which is u plus one squared over nine. Okay. So let's write out, let's look to the, the sort of the area that associates with the support of y, but we need to define for our whole thing. Let me get rid of these notes I was making earlier. So 
So what's our full function? So we know that f of u of u equals, well, if you minus 1 and 2, we've got our u plus 1 squared on 9. When y is less than minus 1, it will be 0. And when y is greater than 2, it will be 1. So there's our full defined CDF. Remember in assignments, in exam, you have to give the full thing. You have to find your CDF of the entirety of the real number line. So now our f of u, our PDF, is going to be d over du, f of u, u. So if I differentiate that, I'm going to get 2 u plus 1 over 9, minus 1 less than u, which is 2, and 0 elsewhere. There we have it. So next, we've got another one. y equals a uniform, 0, 1, and u equals y squared. What is the PDF? Well, first of all, let's remind ourselves what f of y is. It's going to be 1 when y lies between 0 and 1, and it's going to be 0 elsewhere. If you're not sure about that, go and look at your lecture on uniform. So here's our area, 0 to 1, y, and here's u. And again, if I want u to be less than some arbitrary value, so I want this area, that's going to be the equivalent to y here. So in the game, we need to work out our a. Before we do that, we'll check our support. So we know that y lies between 0 and 1. So y squared is between 0 and 1. And so u is between 0 and 1. So where this is 1, this is also 1. Right. So we want the probability that u is less than or equal to u, which is the probability that y squared is less than or equal to u, which is the probability that y is less than or equal to the square root of u. So to remind you, this is the square root of u, and we want the area less than that. Well, we're going to integrate from minus infinity to the square root of u, f of y dy, which is going to be from 0 to the square root of u, 1 dy, which equals y from 0 to the square root of u, which equals the square root of u. Cool. Cool. So let's just finalize that, f of u, u. It's the square root of u between 0 and 1. It's 0 for u less than 0, and it's 1 for u greater than 1. There's my complete CDF. And finally, to get my PDF, I'm going to differentiate that. So we've got u, square root of u equals u to the half. We differentiate that, we get half u to the minus a half. So it's going to be 1 over 2 root u between 0 and 1 and 0 else. Cool. We'll stop there and next time I will do the method of transform. Thank you very much.